And now for the classic Harley. I've got several blooms going on here. I've got a gray 260 that I've just blown up about two inches of. I've got a gray 160 with about a four inch tail on it. A black 160 with about a three to four inch tail on it. An orange 160 with about a three inch tail on it. Then I've got a black 260, about five or six inches uninflated. And then an orange 260 with about three inches uninflated on it. We're going to start with the orange 260. What we're going to do is we're going to start by making a small round bubble, followed by another round bubble, and make the second one a pinch twist. Now we're going to make about a three and a half to four inch bubble, followed by a pinch twist. And we're going to make a diamond. And what we're going to do is make four two inch bubbles. Just like that. And by making a diamond, we're just going to bring the tail of the last one back to that pinch twist. There's our diamond. That'll be our seat back well in a minute. Now we're going to come up. And we're gonna, this is going to be our gas tank. So you want to come out, if you pull your gas tank down just a little bit, picture a line coming down, and then make a bubble about that long out of here, this, and then make a pinch twist. Now again, you want to kind of picture how you want it to lean. Make a bubble that will pull it out just like that, and pull it down so that you get almost a 90 degree there. So we've got a triangle here. Now we're going to just make two more bubbles just like these here. Come back down. There's your first bubble. And then another one just like that one there. Any excess that you have, just pop off and remove. You no longer need it. Just like that. Now we're going to take our black 260. We're going to twist it into here where the pinch twists it, where our diamond and our triangle meet. Push the nozzle up in there. Now we're going to take your diamond, squeeze the two sides together, and twist those together so that you get two pairs like that. You'll have to hang on to that for a second. And we're going to take our black and bring it around it on there until it meets. We want to come down to where you twist those two together, just like that. Now we're going to take and make a pinch twist out of our black one there. That's secure. Now take your black and just wrap it around these back two here. That's going to be the seat. This is the back tire. So just wrap it around those back two until it meets up with that pinch twist there. Just like that. Now anything you left over, pop off. We don't need any more. Secure that in and tuck it up in there. Now we've got our back seat started. We'll finish it off with the 160 in a minute. Our back tire there. Now we're going to take our orange 160 and we're going to make our handlebars and front forks. So starting at the nozzle end of course, we'll make a little small about three quarter inch bubble. And then make a pinch twist. And make about a three inch bubble and that's going to be one of your handlebars. And then twist that in up here at the front where that first bubble is and make a pinch twist. Just like that. So it's attached in. Now you're going to come out and make about a three quarter inch bubble. Followed by a small round bubble and of course make the second one a pinch twist. Now looking at your bike, you're going to want to come down, imagine a line from there out, from this pinch twist here, make a bubble about that long. Now we're going to make two pinch twists, so make a small round bubble, make that a pinch twist, make another small round bubble, make that one a pinch twist as well, and then bring your bubble around so that it's continuing through the pinch twist, you get one on either side. Now we're going to make our spokes. So we're going to make about a three-quarter inch bubble, three-quarter, maybe one inch. And we're going to make another one the same size. 
one more. So you got three. Now I'll lock the second two together, number two and three. So you got that. I'll make two more the same size. And then I'm just going to wrap this around the lock those in place. <clears throat> and then do it one more time. So two more. A lot of those in place again by just wrapping it around. Now I need one more the same size and it's going to come back up to the two pinch clips here. That will complete our spoke. Lock that in the pinch clip. We'd want the same size as this. Going to twist into there. One the same size as that and then lock into there. We're just retracing our steps from where we first started coming down here. Let me straighten those out just a little bit. So, there's our first one there. Put that into there. Now the second one. Like that little smaller one. Twist it into there. Now our other handlebar. So we need a bubble the same size as that. A little pinch twist. So there's the first bubble. And then a pinch twist. And then the little small bubble. And the rest of it we're going to pop off. And make sure you're able to tie that. Just like that. Bring that end up. And as you can see our bike. Straighten this wheel up there. Is beginning to take a lot more shape. So now we're going to take our black 160. We're going to make our front tire. You're going to twist it into that bubble, uh, pair of bubbles there at the top of the spokes. And then just wrap it around until it comes back around your spokes so it comes back to the other side. Twist it off. And then twist it into those. Those two pinch twists you've got there. Now we're going to separate the tech test to keep it inflated. We're going to need that for our back seat here in a moment. So we're going to tie that end off over there. And then we're going to take the end of our 160 and make sure it's secured up in there so our wheel doesn't come undone. Straighten that out. Get it so pretty. So now you can see we've got our front wheel. And our bike is really beginning to take shape. So we're going to complete our back seat by taking the 160, we're going to twist the nozzle in, or the, the knot end into the front of the seat there where the pinch twist meets the triangle. Then we're going to just make a bubble. We're going to lay it alongside here, come back to this pinch twist, twist it into that pinch twist, and I'm going to throw a loop over it and then come back up, and you'll see what I'm talking about as we do So here's the first bubble, and I'll squeeze it kind of soft so it's not real big. Back to the pinch twist, go around the pinch twist to lock it in place. And then we'll just lay a loop that lays across the top of the pinch twist there. And twist it in on the other side. Give our backrest for our seat. And I don't like the turn it's a little hard to see, but it wraps over that. And then we're going to come back up along this side here. Go back to where we started. Twist that in there. And then if you wanted, you could use that to make a kickstand. I'm not going to worry about that right now. Okay, secure that loose end there. So now we've got our seat, and you can see how adding that 160 flattens it out a little bit more and gives us our back lift here. You could stop there if you want. You don't have to put an engine, but I like to put an engine in mine whenever I time allows me to. So what we're going to do, okay, we're going to take our uh, little piece of gray 260, put your finger on the knot, push it all the way through till you can grab it through the uninflated side, and then work your finger back out, twist it to secure it by, so we're just making, basically if you've ever made the little, the little basic tulip, that's what it is, but we're going to pop the tail off. And I'm just going to tie that to make sure that'll stay. Tuck it back inside. So you've got basically a double tulip. And then divide that into two equal bubbles. Now we're going to take our gray 160. We're going to make about a one inch bubble. And then twist that around the center 
of your uh, little split tulip twist there. And then make a small round bubble and a print twist out of your 160. Just screw that in place. Once you've got that wrapped around there, we're going to twist off a little small bubble a little bit shorter than that one. And then another one the same size and come back around and lock that into your split tool up there. Now we're going to take the end of this and that's going to attach right up. Oops, if I can hang on to it. Under the pinch twist where your handlebars are. in place. And we're going to take this and tuck it all up inside. Turn those sideways. Just like that. And that becomes your engine. And then what I'm going to do make a small bubble and bring it down and attach it as pinch twist on the bottom to hold it in place there. Just see how it's wrapping around there. And then tuck that up inside to that'll help hold it in place. And then come around the other side. And then you can stop there and have just your engine if you like. Or you can take your gray that you've got left, run it along the back, measure it till it gets about where the back tire is. I'm going to pop off the excess and tie it there. And then you can take a glue dot, or actually two glue dots is what I'll normally do for this. Let me pull two glue dots off here for us. And when working with glue dots, I'll separate them to one to a little sheet. That makes them easier to work with. Figure out where you want your pipes to lay, then I'm going to put one glue dot right there. so it kicks out there in the front. And then I'll come back here and I'll put one glue dot on this back right there. And then glue dot that in place. Straighten up our handlebars. And there, oops, my port got distorted. You have your classic Harley you can do it with or without the exhaust pipe. Oops, get that where you can see it better. There we go.